Here is a video that's going to show you, the student, how to work Seesaw and where to find different items within your Seesaw journal. So when you first log on to Seesaw, you will see your journal feed. Here you will see completed work or any notes from your teacher or photos that they have posted. If you see a blue banner on top of something on your journal, that means that you have finished it and your teacher still needs to approve it. If you see an orange banner, that is a draft, meaning you can go back in and fix and edit that assignment. Each morning, your teacher will post the assignments for the day. That can be found in your inbox. It could look like something like a note on the bottom here. It could also look like a slide, which is in the top here in a picture form. If you have the picture form, you're gonna go ahead and click on it, but make sure that you click view original if that is an option. When you click on view original, it will open in a new tab and you can click on any of the links that your teacher would like you to select. I'm gonna go back to Seesaw here, click the X. You may also have a list of assignments that look like this note at the bottom. When you click on anything that is blue, it's going to take you to a new link. So you may have a Zoom link to attend, or a math assignment, or a video that your teacher wants you to check out. So I'm gonna click on this science link, and it's gonna go ahead and open up into the science activity that my teacher would like me to complete for that day. When I'm done, again, top left, I'm gonna head back to Seesaw. So this is where you will find all of your assignments for the day. Now, if your teacher has assigned you a seesaw activity, you're gonna click on activities. You can also see that there's a number. That is the number of activities that you have to complete. So if I want to go ahead and do an assignment, I'm going to look at this top gray banner right here. It says to do. So I know that I have some assignments and activities for me to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this first one. In order to complete the assignment, I need to click Add Response. And what that does is it opens up that assignment for me. And I'm going to look to the side here. You are gonna see that you have multiple pages. If you see a little paper clip, what that does is sends you to a link and to the page that your teacher wants you to complete. It may also be a website. So be sure to look for these little links throughout this Seesaw activity. If I would like to complete an activity, I have a bunch of different tools that I can use. So the first tool is going to be right over here, and that is your text tool. When I click on that, I am able to type my answer. When I'm done, I make sure that the hand tool is selected and I can move it around I can make it bigger or smaller and even change the color. If I would like to do a recording of my voice and as I move around with my drawing tool, I'm gonna click right here on the microphone. This would record my voice and any drawing that I do at the same time. If I would like to upload a picture, I'm gonna click on that camera. Here, you can upload something that you've, a picture that you've already taken on your camera roll by selecting upload. You could take a video within Seesaw and upload it to this slide, or you could take a photo within Seesaw and then upload it to this slide as well. You can upload up to 10 pictures on one slide and one video on each slide. These three dots here, I can select a shape and I can move that around as well. Change the background and add a link. Down at the bottom, you have a bunch of your drawing tools. So the hand, when I have that selected, I will be able to move different things around. The pencil tool, then I have the pen tool, a highlighter tool, this is like a sparkle tool, and finally your eraser if you'd like to erase everything. You can also change the color by looking over here and sliding up and down. 
If you had worked on an assignment, but you just weren't all the way done yet, you could click the word draft. And what that does is it saves it for you, whatever work you have completed, but maybe you're just not all the way done yet. You'll then see this orange banner. It says visible to you and the teacher, meaning your teacher can see the work that you've completed, but you are just not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and click activities. So now I have to do, it's still right there. I have in progress. These are the two assignments that I started, but I didn't finish yet. And then I have done. These are all of the activities that I have completed. So if I go back to in progress and I've worked on these and I wanna turn it in, I'm gonna go ahead and click finish response. So now it's gonna open up the activity that I was working on and I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. Here is a beautiful picture of me, but let's say that I forgot the directions. I started it yesterday and I didn't get to finish. Up at the top right here, you can always click view instructions and that way you can look at them again. Maybe you need to play the directions again and you are ready to complete your assignment. When you are all the way done, you can go ahead and click the green check up at the top and that is turning in your assignment for your teacher. So again, one more time, when you click on the journal right here, you're gonna see all of your work. Some of it will be waiting for your teacher to approve or some of the assignments that you are still working on, it'll be a draft. Your activities that your teacher may have assigned you can be found under the activities tab. All the ones you need to do are still working in progress and have completed. And then your inbox is any message that your teacher would like to send to you with links.